Hey, good morning, Valley family. Hey, it's Tuesday, June 30th today. We made it through June. Wow. Hey, I'm getting an early start today. Thought I'd spend the first few moments of my day with you all. Thanks for uh, taking some time with me today. Um, as you know uh, from some previous videos, I've been reading through the first several books of the Old Testament in my daily Bible reading. And... Um, story of how God brought his people Israel out of slavery in Egypt and brought them into the promised land and um, as I was reading in numbers a few days ago um, the people are uh, they're complaining they're grumbling they're uh, whining the text uses all of those words uh, the people are getting tired of eating manna all the time. This food that God would provide uh, every day, it would come down with the dew and they would go out and collect it and, and make bread with it. But they are uh, complaining because they don't have any meat. They want some meat. And instead of um, making their request known to God and trusting in his ability to provide for them, they start complaining. They start whining. They start grumbling. And I don't think it's an unreasonable request to want some meat to go with your manna. Who doesn't want some meat to go with your manna, right? I think it was the way that they went about uh, making their request known. Uh, they don't come to God as uh, children and uh, approach, you know, a, a loving father and say, boy, it'd sure be nice if we would have so, could have some meat. And I'm sure God would uh, be able to provide if we asked him. No, they just start complaining and grumbling and, oh, let's just go back to Egypt. It was better back there anyway. Well, how quickly you forget, children of Israel, <laughs> you were slaves in Egypt. Sure, you had full bellies, but you uh, worked to the bone every day, and uh, you didn't have your freedom. And, uh, you know, it, it's, it's kind of a ridiculous story, but it's a story that captures human nature pretty well, I think. Uh, I think we're capable of doing that too, aren't we? when we're in the midst of a difficult circumstance that's kind of just dragging on and on and on, don't we have a tendency to want to complain, grumble, uh, become discontent? I've been watching the news cycle uh, this week, and a lot of states are, you know, if we think of like the reopening uh, of our society, kind of like a dial, you know, and we've, we've dialed it up in the last month, reopening things. Some states are having to turn that dial back down now, right? And we're having to slow uh, and, and almost backtrack, take steps backward in uh, things reopening, you know, health clubs closing, bars closing. And that's going to be hard for a lot of people. That's going to be discouraging for a lot of people. And um, now is the time, friends, when we have to persevere. We have to keep um, allowing God to lead us through this difficult circumstance. We've never been here before. We don't know what the road ahead looks like who knows what's going to happen here in minnesota if we're going to have to you know mitigate some things and and maybe even take a few steps backward what's going to happen to you if if we have to do that um is is that going to be really discouraging for you are you going to be tempted to to grumble and complain and whine about that <clears throat> well there's a better way uh, it seems like Philippians has kind of been a real rock for us. A lot of Paul's teaching in Philippians has been uh, recurring in my thought and Dave's thought and uh, for a lot of us throughout this time as well. And in Philippians chapter 4, the Apostle Paul says that, that we should uh, continually be praying and presenting our requests to God with thanksgiving he says, with thanksgiving. And I think that's key because here's an idea for you. I think gratitude mitigates grumbling. 
gratitude is a corrective against grumbling. If we can be grateful to God for what we do have, you know, instead of saying, ah, let's go back to Egypt, it was better back there, you know, we could say, well, this is, it's tough out here in the wilderness. And manna, we're getting kind of sick of it, but it's pretty cool that God provides this food for us every day, <laughs> right? And, and uh, you know, he's leading us toward the promised land, the land that he promised to our ancestors, Abraham and Isaac and Jacob. And so, yeah, things aren't perfect, but let's go. Here we go. That seems like a better attitude. That seems like more fitting for people who are in relationship with the God of the universe who can provide for them and who loves them. So if we get difficult news in the next few weeks about uh, where we're at in terms of as a state with the coronavirus, I hope uh, if we uh, have to take a step back or two, and I have no idea what's going to happen, but I hope that you'll be able to uh, maintain a sense of gratitude um, maintain a sense of trust, maintain our contentment as we go through this together and not grumble and not whine. And boy, if you read through Numbers 11 and 12, uh, what I was reminded of is God is not a big fan of complaining and grumbling. He had uh, a pretty, um, pretty severe response to his people not trusting him and not uh, showing gratitude to him because he's trying to teach these, these people, Israel, who he is and what he's like. And they seem like they, they're just ignoring him and they want to turn back and go back to Israel and maybe even to the gods of Israel. Um, so let's continue to trust in God. Let's continue to be grateful for how he's leading us through this. And uh, let's make our requests known to God. If we want some meat with our manna, God says, you can let me know about that, but don't complain about it. Don't whine about it. Let's talk about it. Present your request to God with thanksgiving. So let me pray for us today. God, we thank you for the ways you have been providing for us in the midst of this difficult circumstance. Um, protect us, will you, against discouragement and grumbling and complaining. Um, we're not sure what the road ahead looks like, if we're going to have any setbacks as a state in terms of how we're responding to the coronavirus, but I pray that we would remain strong, that our witness would remain strong, and that our relationship with you would remain strong, and that we won't turn to uh, discouragement and grumbling and whining, but that we would uh, be filled with gratitude for who you are and how you're leading us through. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, friends, have a wonderful Tuesday, and I'll see you later this week.